Hey YouTube, and I'm back with another package and fix video. And if you notice that I'm wearing the same clothes as the last time, it's because I'm recording at the same time. In fact, I've been so lazy, I haven't moved to GBA or the 50 Cent. In fact, or the big bag of PlayStation games. But I broke this up because I actually picked them up at a different time. They're all local pickups. Um, I've been getting a bit away from the internet um, and eBay, thankfully, because it saves on um, postage. But um, there's a new shop. I basically went on a bit of a kind of a a voyage around town and looking for games and uh, one place I want to try is this new place called Retropolis and um, he, it's, a nice, it's a small little stall, only opened a couple of months not much stock but interesting like you know in, if some Japanese imports um, kind of the good games you'd find on system does a good, it makes good use of his very tight space. So I was actually really surprised because when I had kind of seen a bit of it online, I was thinking, is it really worth, you know, heading all the way over there? I'd have more just stacked up, you know, in the corner behind me than I, than I seem to have on stock. But no, a nice guy knows his stuff and was able to do a few deals on, on things. And the first up, which is actually I got in a second, a second video, which is why it's not in the bag, I got a Mega Drive game. I traded in a couple of games, mainly um, a, a spare Pokemon I had for this, so it cost me nothing in cash, but it, it was 15. Uh, and it's it's Thunder Force 4. Um, missing the hang tab, but other than that, it's in excellent condition. Manual's really crisp and cartridge really clean. And I mean, it's Thunder Force, it looks like a crack and shooting game. It seems to me, I thought that was a fair price anyway for a retail shop, and to get it on trading, I was very, very happy. But, let me see. Now, back to my kind of journey. I seem to be missing one of the games. Yeah, one of the games I've picked up, I think I've traded it on, hence why it's not there. But um, I picked up a few other games, and the first up was a NES cartridge, um, Punch-Out. One of my favorite NES games. I'm not the biggest NES fan, really. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, there's great games. It has a very big uh, impact on in the industry, but there's a lot of mediocre games out there. But uh, this one I absolutely love. Bunch of great game. Have it on the virtual console. I was very happy to pick it up. Um, this one here I picked up for chance. I might look to upgrade it. It was twenty five. Metal Gear Solid Three Subsistence. It's got all the discs, but it's missing the manual, and the box is a little rough, so I might look to upgrade that at some point. Um, and I don't think, let me see, this three existence, this one subsistence. Why is this on three discs versus the, the, the normal uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 is only on one disc? There must be a lot of add-ons. Hmm. Includes never before release game Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Well, that's the, the MSX game. Secret Tears from Old Game Connectivity with Metal Gear Acid 2 on the PSP. Special bonus disc existence featuring new recut cinematic scenes from MGS3 Snake Eater and the MGS4 trailer. But anyway, I know that this is usually quite sought after, so that's why I kind of decided to, to pick it up. Plus, by buying a few bits, he gave me 10% off in the end. Um, and then, well, beyond the other one I'm missing, I picked up this, which was a tenor. Now, it's not complete, it's missing the rumble pack, but um, it's not too, it's not, I mean, it's got a bit of shelf wear. Obviously, it's a lot of words, because I didn't know when to say it. It's the big box version. I had the platinum version from when I was younger. Um, a lot of this will clean off too. But, uh, yeah, to get this shipped, just the big box alone would cost me about six quid so at tenor I was you know happy enough to pay that now as I said it's missing the rumble pack has the cartridge the registration card and the manual the big ass manual I might add now unfortunately the cover of the manual is gone which is a shame but for the price I wasn't you know I wasn't going to be too picky because as I said shipping alone was just going to make something like this in, in, impractical so yeah and Nice guy, I like to try and support the local shops where possible. And when they're going to do deals like on trade in or give you a discount for buying a few bits, you know, you're much more inclined to go there. Yeah, always good to help the, the little guy out. 
Now, not quite so little these days. Went to another shop in town. Didn't have that much that I was interested in, but did have one Super Nintendo game that I was um, I was pleased to pick up for the price, and it is um, Super Aleste. So actually a bit of a shooting up vibe with Thunder Force and, and Super Aleste. And this was um, was 20 quid, which um, I didn't think was too bad for a, a local store at all. In fact, very good. Now it's also, you might notice, it's probably reflecting on camera, it's in a box protector. That was actually the way it came in the store. They seem to be putting their um, their better box games in box protectors. So, yeah, great, because now I don't have to use my one. So it's all complete in, in great condition. I'm not going to take it out because it'll be too fiddly. But um, I, I, I've, I've seen plenty of videos of this. Cracking, cracking game. Um, really does make good use of the Mode 7 and whatnot. So it was quite a little trek around town. I was very, very pleased. Normally, normally I see nothing. And, and these days, between the car boots and town, it's... Maybe I was just looking in the wrong places or at the wrong time, but everything seems to be coming together locally. Uh, such a relief that I don't have to. Oh, no, not else there. That I don't have to just be relying on eBay all the time. I mean, you can you know get a few local shops going. Hopefully, they'll be able to to set it up, and that's the real key. If you can if you can stay competitive against eBay, people will uh, well should shop there really. You know, why bother going to eBay when you you can go to a shop that's going to charge you less than eBay? And in the th 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 it was in around that, so yeah, why not? But anyway, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for this one. So it was a fun little shopping trip for me. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll be back with another video shortly. Bye for now.